In this video I will be fitting a Wi-Fi extender socket. It's a quick and easy job to do. I bought this socket from Screwfix for about £28 and I got it because all our internal walls are made of brick so we struggle with the Wi-Fi signal in some of the rooms. So hopefully this should boost a good signal to all the rooms and even into the, the loft space where we plan to do more, more rooms. An electrician would probably charge about £30 to £60 to come out to your home and fit one of these. So fitting it ourselves will make a good saving and it will only take about 15 to 20 minutes to do. They are really easy to fit. Most competent DIYers could easily fit one. All we need is these three tools small slotted screwdriver an electrical tester and a socket tester I've chosen to put the socket here on the landing it's central to the house excuse the state of the walls we're halfway through doing a complete rewire and I haven't got round to plastering the sockets back in yet The first thing we have to do is test that this socket is working correctly by using the socket tester. The three lights indicate that it's wired in correctly. The next thing we have to do is go and isolate the supply at the consumer unit. There is a series of fuses and they should all be labelled up. Because we are only halfway through the rewire, these are just temporary labels. I know this one controls the socket upstairs. All I have to do is flick it down and the socket upstairs will be isolated. As you can see the three lights have gone off indicating that the socket is disconnected from the electrical supply. To remove the socket just undo these two screws. Before I touch any of the wires, I'm going to double check that there is no power to the socket. But how do I know that the tester is working correctly? Let's test the tester. This is a light switch that I know is live. The tester is glowing, so I know it's working correctly. I am now confident that there is no power to this socket. Got blue for neutral, brown for live, yellow and green for earth. If you've got old wiring, then the neutral will probably be black. The live will probably be red and the earth will probably be yellow and green again. The new socket is actually colour coded. So as long as you put the same colour wire into the same colour hole you shouldn't go far wrong. Now we have to undo these three screws to release the wires. I 
now we can start wiring up the new socket insert the wires into the hole making sure there's no copper showing tighten down the screws Give the wires a little pull to make sure none of them are loose. Now we can fit the socket back to the wall, but make sure that you don't trap any wires behind. Tighten up the screws but make sure you don't over tighten them and risk damaging the front of the socket. That's nicely fitted now. The next thing we have to do is turn the power back on. Back to the consumer unit. To turn the power back on just flick the switch up. got a blue light on the socket which means it's working but I'm still going to test it three lights again means everything's correct now the instructions say we need to go and press the WPS button on the router and hold it down for five seconds now we have to press this button so the socket can connect to the router once it's gone to solid blue it means it's connected to the router and boosting the Wi-Fi signal the last thing we've got to do is put these screw covers in and that's the job complete it's taken me about 15 minutes to do and I'm not an electrician it was a really simple job a really good way to save some money if you can do it yourself so spend time save money Thanks for watching and don't forget to watch, subscribe, like and share our videos. See you next time.